Lorenzo Darius is here. Why? Because we love our rugby stars. Even when we lose, we're going to delve into the world of Puff de Clerc because he warrants it. He's an ecosystem all on his own. He's a dynamic player with a boot like no other. He is the consummate pro. And with golden locks and, of course, devastating speed and unbelievable weight to power ratio, Puff is, I think, a living legend right now. <laughs> um, so we're yeah. going to get into a little bit of the legend yeah. and the law. Um, no, the funny thing is, he's done it. He's achieved so much. Yeah. He's still a, a young guy. So let's start um, right back at the very beginning. Puff de Klerk was born on October 19, 1991. Does that make you feel a little bit old right now? Um, and, of course, in Nelspreit, which is now known as Mbombela um, here in South Africa. And during his school years, de Klerk attempted or attended we were a school, Vaterkloof in Pretoria, an incredible rugby school where he honed his rugby skills clearly. They did a good job. Uh, his time at the prestigious high school played a pivotal role in his rugby journey, but it gets exciting when super rugby starts. Yeah, I definitely. think this, this kid was probably written off even at schoolboy level for being too yeah. small to play rugby. Always too short, that's the story, eh? And then he comes out and he's uh, this pocket dynamite and then that skips provincial <laughs> and goes straight away into super rugby and it's reminiscence of um, you know Scott Berger as well they come in and they've got the locks both yeah. of them <laughs> well, I suppose you just know. when looking yeah. at Thor you've just got to absolutely do it. definitely eh? and with those uh, again golden locks you know who wouldn't want him in the team you know for the picture day uh, but, uh, completely or especially when the kit needs to come off and the speedos <laughs> need to come out but the thing yeah. is he's always delivered I think his special his superpower is BMT Buff de Klerk's professional rugby career, obviously, as Lorenzo said, kicked off when he was included in that Lions squad for the 2014 Super Rugby season. It was a big one, but we had to make our mark in the Southern Hemisphere game, and he made his Super Rugby debut in a thrilling 21-20 victory over the Cheetahs in Bloom. Joined then the Golden Lions Curry Cup team in 2016, making a significant move to the English Premiership Sales Sharks for the 2017-2018 season and I think that's where the magic really kicked in for him and he is certainly a fan favourite up north um, signed an extension up until 2023 but he has captured I think not just South African hearts but all hearts um, it was a couple of seasons for the Sharks back home as well uh, and then uh, signing with the, the Yokohama, the Cannon Eagles in Japan Rugby League 1 in June of 2022. So it's very well travelled and then of course he is super versatile. Yes. Like all of our scrum offs, he can yeah, play for. probably in, in just about any position bar prop. But yeah, maybe I would give him a go. Maybe at flank as well. Yeah, no, I, I reckon he could. In as well. I saw a few videos of Pop actually uh, you know, attempting to be a hooker as well with the lineup, And so. he could probably do it. <laughs> um, how important is it, because he is, you could say, hyper-specialized as a scrum yes. half. He is very good at the basic skills. His uh, box kicking is probably the best in the world right now. Yeah. And so funny watching every other team, <laughs> i.e. Yeah. Wales and Australia and, 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 now yes. trying to emulate our yes. kicking game. It is That's hilarious to me. <laughs> slating it. <laughs> slating it. Three years ago, now every yeah. single team is employing that. But how important is he because of this versatility right now to the box setup? Absolutely amazing. And I love the fact that he is so versatile. And, you know, we, we've been going on about Fafsa Foot for yeah. you know, quite a few years. But Fafsa Foot can get us out of, you know, sticky situations. His positional and, kicking yes. great. His yeah. post kicking, that might become even more important. Yeah, there you go. Um, we would like him to be a lot more versatile. Yes. I'd love to see him go on the wing because I feel like he could add something. Imagine him and Grant on the wing. And Come then. on. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you put the <laughs> other two scrum off, though? That uh, still begs the question. Uh, but, of course, he's also stepped up on the international stage, and it began in 2016 when he debuted for the Springboks up against the island. Sorry to bring it up. <laughs> and then after joining the Sales Sharks, of course, he returned, playing a pivotal role in our 2019 Rugby World Cup campaign victory. Yeah. Um, he had so many individual moments, but I think he allowed our system to breathe. He's been a big part of what the gents at the, at the helm have gotten right. Yeah. He is the guy that could potentially win us this World Cup. And that's what people don't realize, is the fact that he's made space so much available when it comes to um, the backline players. Yeah. He is the little general that we've been looking for all these years, and he, he just fits in perfectly with Wherever the fly off is oh, at completely. the time, and then also the forward pack, he knows how to dictate the game. Link. He knows how to read the game, 
and, and I think that's the nice thing about it. Yeah, rugby IQ off the charts, absolutely. We love the fact that he, um, yes, we, the forwards do all the hard work, but he's the kind of player that releases that through to the back line. He's able to activate all of that hard work. So forwards love him, back line players absolutely love him, and we love him. Fuff, you're the man. Yeah. <laughs>